A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Yesterday I was traveling, so we are doing the recording of 4th of May and we are doing an indoors recording because it was rainy and today also it's raining outside. So we are having a very beautiful weather, but it's not good enough for doing the recording outside in the park, the beautiful Sherbury Nightingale Park. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about yesterday's blessing. So Baba says in yesterday's blessing, may you make accurate decisions with the cleanliness of your mind and intellect and become full of success. Either we are making decisions out of fear, insecurity, or we are making decisions out of greed or jealousy with others. So we might not be taking the right path when we are in this negative energy. And when we are in this negative energy area, the area or the place where we want to reach in our life doesn't come about or doesn't come around. And we feel lonely or we feel empty. God says when you're using no negativity in your life to achieve your success in life or you want to reach some area, that area should be something which has got no comparison with anybody else. It should not be something where you are jealous about somebody. That's why you want to do the same thing and show it to the world that you're better than that person because then you're not following your own path. So God says, you can achieve success in any task when your intellect makes the right decision. Intellect is like a weighing scale. Either you are thinking from the pure part or you're thinking from the impure part. So either of those. So which side are we on? Are we on God's side using virtues, values and powers with good character we are moving ahead or we are using all the vices in this world as we have heard so many times that in Kaliyug you are supposed to be like a Kaliyugi person so as to succeed in life either that so God says that at the right time you have to make the right decision however the power to decide works when your mind and intellect are clean <clears throat> generally also in life when you are supposed to make a decision and you don't have any interest of gaining something out of it, it is easy to make that decision. Think about it. And when you want something out of that situation, something out of that person, then the manipulation starts and then we start making tricks or playing tricks of the mind and we start making thoughts or ways or paths so that we benefit first. So God says, that the mind and intellect are clean, then only you can make the decision. And there is no rubbish in them. So if you think less of a person, then the decision would be made in our own favor. And we might think that that person is not good enough for this work. I am better than that person. So ego can come in that decision and the work which is supposed to be done with that person's qualities and virtues would have been successful. But because of jealousy, because of thinking, that I am better than that person because of the ego. We come in between God's work or we even come in between our own progress. So God says, this is why you have to burn any rubbish in the fire of yoga. Yoga means connection with God or union with God. And make your intellect clean. And that's where we learn the process of meditation. We sit, we contemplate, we think about what is not good in us and we offer that to God. God, I've got a little bit of ego left in me. Please work on this with me. And God says, any type of weakness is rubbish. The slightest waste thought is also rubbish. Like, how will it happen? How will that person do it? Is it even possible? Why? When and how? All these things lead to waste thoughts. When this rubbish is destroyed, you can then remain carefree. Then, because of having a clean intellect, you will achieve success in every start. So, every task can be made successful if this rubbish is removed and we can become carefree. When we are in greed, when we are in insecurity or fear, when we are in mistrust or we don't trust other people, that's when we end up taking wrong decisions in a hurry. And when we are making wrong decisions in a hurry, we are not in alignment with our own path or what we souls have come to do on this earth. We are going, there's a straight line, we are going left extreme or we are going right extreme, whereas the road is straight. So God says, why don't you take a straight road? 
Now, how do we take a straight road is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. We make our thoughts come in alignment. We don't let those thoughts be in extremes, either in complete ego or in complete insecurity. So how do you do that? That's what you can learn in Brahma Kumaris. You're most welcome to attend the seven-day course and be on this journey with this Om Shanti.